Hey everyone, and welcome to Yoga with Rachel. Today we have a partner yoga class in store for us. We will be moving through some beginner friendly postures. This is Sean, he has agreed to join us today. And then this is Angel over here and she will be watching us as we flow. So feel free to bring along a family member, a significant other, a friend, or even your pet. You can bring along uh, two yoga mats, a blanket if you would like, um, whatever you think that you would need for this partner yoga flow. All right, let's get started. We begin today's practice in a cross-legged seat, sitting back to back with your partner, allowing your weight to settle against your partner, feeling that connection. I invite us all to sit up tall through the spine, using a visual of a string attached to the crown of our heads, encouraging length in the spine. Feel free to place your hands on your thighs, on the knees, or even in your lap. I now extend an invitation to close your eyes or soften your gaze, looking directly past the nose. Can you feel the connection of your sit bones and the edges of your feet rooting down into the earth? Perhaps you begin to notice your partner's breath, their breathing cycle feeling their back expand on the breath in and then contract on the breath out. Let's take three breath cycles together. Breathe in through your nose and then breathe out through the nose or the mouth. Two more times to breathe in and out. Breathe in and then empty it out. You can open up your eyes if you had them closed. Release the fingertips to the earth at your sides. On the next breath in, float your hands up towards the sky, up and overhead. Fingertips kiss together. Exhale to float the hands back down to the earth. Our hands are very active as we engage in this movement. We are spreading through our fingers and taking up space as we flow. Breathe in, hands go to the sky, fingertips come together. Maybe you even look on up towards the sky. And then exhale, floating the fingers back down. One more time, breathe in. And out. All right, let's get a little twisting action going. Breathe in to send your hands to the sky Exhale to twist to your right, floating your hands back down. Left hand will be placed on your right knee and the right hand is placed on your partner's knee or thigh. Look past your right shoulder. Feel free to find a nodding action with the head, lifting the chin towards the sky, receiving a lovely stretch in the front of the neck, and then dropping the chin towards the chest. Juicy stretch in the back of the neck. Keep that nodding action going a few more times. And then we eventually find some stillness. Breathe in and then exhale to unravel, making our way back to center. On our next breath in, we send our hands up and overhead. Exhale to twist to your left, slowly floating the hands back down. Your right hand is on your left knee and your left hand is reaching towards your partner's knee or is placed on the thigh. Look past your left shoulder, finding a lovely spinal twist. Feel free to find that nodding action once again. And then we eventually find stillness. Breathe in. Exhale to unravel, coming back to center. Send the arms from left to right, palms facing forward, allowing the back of the hands to connect. Now let's use our creative minds and imagine that our arms are airplane wings. We are going to tilt our upper body one way and then over to the other side. The challenge is trying our best to keep the back, arms, and the hands connected as we tilt from side to side. So decide upon which side you would like to tilt first and then begin the tilting action. Reaching one hand towards the sky and then the other towards the earth. Maybe you can even play around with touching the fingers to the earth. Perhaps you begin to feel a lovely stretch to the side body. 
Breathing some love into the ribs. Maintaining that connection to your partner as best as you can. So you may have to slow down the action. A few more rounds. And then we eventually find stillness, releasing our hands back to the earth. Now turn to face your partner. You can say hi to them, smile, laugh, <laughs> and then hug your knees in towards your chest. Feet resting on the earth and about hip distance apart. There's a bit of a gap between you and your partner. For this next posture, you may need to adjust this gap just to find out wh whatever works best for both you and your partner. Now swim the hands back and behind you for support. Bring your toes together, allowing the heels to rest on the mat. Find a forearm grip to start, wrapping your hands around each other's forearms. Lengthen through the spine, sitting up nice and tall. Let's play around with lifting one leg up. So I am tapping Sean's arm to tell him which leg we are starting off with. This is a great nonverbal way to communicate with your partner. Slowly lifting the one leg away from the earth, stopping halfway, perhaps pressing the soles of the feet together. So there's an option to stay here, or you can continue that journey, lifting the feet towards the sky. It is okay if you need to keep a bend in the leg, as this depends on anatomy and tightness in the hamstring. You may even notice that the hands begin to slide from the forearms to the hands. I invite you to play and have some fun here. One breath cycle. Breathe in and out. Slowly release your feet back down to the earth. Same dance, just on the other side. Lifting the feet, stopping at the halfway point. Again, there is an option to stay here, or you can continue that journey, bringing the feet closer towards the sky, pressing the feet together. No worries about what this looks like, my friends. Have fun, laugh, and focus on how this feels. One breath cycle here. Breathe in and out. Release the feet back down to the earth. And yep, you guessed it. Let's play around with sending both feet to the sky. So maintaining this, that forearm grip, we lean back slightly, begin to lift both feet, stopping at the halfway point with bent knees. So we're creating a bridge. You can continue that journey, lifting the feet towards the sky. If your legs are shaking, please know that you are not alone. We are in boat pose, yes. <laughs> Perhaps you take a moment to tell your partner how awesome they are. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Let's begin to lower down. Awesome work. So stay facing each other as you make your way to all fours. You may need to back it up a bit to give each other a little space. When you arrive there, walk your hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hip points. Spread the fingers as if you were about to give your partner an epic high five. Feel free to do that. <laughs> Press into the tops of your feet and rock that pelvis forward, creating length in the low back body. Feel free to fold your yoga mat over to pad the knees or you can use a folded up blanket or towel to place under the knees for support. Tabletop position. One breath cycle here. Breathe in and out. On our next breath in, reach the tailbone towards the sky, arching through the back body, dropping the belly and opening on up through the chest. Look forward. Exhale to tuck the tailbone under, rounding through the spine, chin towards the chest. Breathe in to drop that belly, open on up into a cow pose, maybe even smile at your partner. Exhale to round through, chin towards the chest, pressing into your palms to feel a generous stretch in the upper back body, cat pose. Two more rounds of cat-cow, 
Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in to come back to a neutral spine. Now let's take our hips in a circular motion, finding some organic movement, not worrying about what this looks like, but instead just considering how it feels. Perhaps you even sit back a little bit closer towards your heels to get a nice stretch in the upper back body. Perhaps you pull your heart center forward. You can reverse your circle at any time, keeping that breath flowing. All right, let's find some stillness. Sit back towards your heels just to give you a break off of those wrists. You can take some zombie arms by pointing your fingers towards the earth to receive a lovely stretch in the forearms. Perhaps you give your partner a thumbs up here, letting them know that they are doing awesome. Let's make our way back to our hands and knees, finding our tabletop position. For this next posture, we will want to be able to reach our partner's hand. So you can test that out now. If you can reach your partner's hand, awesome, stay where you are. If you cannot, come forward, or if you are too close, walk yourself back a bit. One partner decides which side to start with. Whichever side you decide to start with, step that foot back and behind you with the toes curled under, back leg is straight. Opposite arm extends forward, core is engaged here. So we can rock our pelvis forward, drawing the belly button towards the spine. Now give your partner props, <laughs> a fist bump, connecting your fists together. Breathe in and out, breathe in and out. Release and make your way back into a tabletop position. Send the other foot back and behind you with the toes planted on the mat. Extend the opposite arm forward and towards your partner. Connect the fists together. We are here for two breath cycles. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Release that, coming back to all fours. Bring the big toes together and the knees go wide. Walk your hands forward and towards your partner as you begin to sit back towards your heels. Breathe in to come up onto the fingertips, look forward. Exhale to melt the chest towards the earth. Forearms can rest on the earth. And last release is the forehead to or towards the earth. Feel free to place a folded up blanket or a cushion under the forehead for support. There's an option to also hold your partner's hands. As we chillax here in this extended child's pose, perhaps you just take a moment to notice how you feel. Perhaps you focus on the breath, feeling the skin on your back stretch as you breathe in and noticing what happens on the breath out. We are here for three breath cycles. Once you have done three, you can release your partner's hands if you were holding them. Press into your foundation as you both rise on up. Make your way back to a seated position, still facing one another. You may need to create a little bit of space between you and your partner for this next posture. Bring the soles of your feet together, so your feet, not to your partner's feet, and the knees go wide. Place your hands on your ankles, loop the shoulders, tuck in the chin slightly. Breathe in and out. We are in butterfly pose. Tap into that creative energy once again and begin to flap your wings. In other words, your legs up and down. Offering a lovely stretch to our low body, especially those hips. 
we eventually find stillness. Now reach forward towards your partner, finding a forearm grip or lightly gripping the wrists. I will breathe in and then on my exhale, I'm going to begin to lean back. Sean will start to fold forward. Breathe in together and exhale. Perhaps your partner sinks deeper into the stretch or perhaps not. Allow them to let you know where they are receiving a good stretch and hang out there. Two more breath cycles here. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Reset. Sean will now breathe in and on his exhale, he begins to lean back. I start to fold forward. Breathe in together and breathe out. Perhaps you sink deeper into the stretch. Two breath cycles here. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Rise on up, reset and release the grip. So come to a cross-legged seat with the knees touching or at least close to one another. Bring your hands to heart in prayer position. Option to close your eyes, soften the gaze, or you can look at each other's eyes. <laughs> Take a moment to reflect upon a posture or movement that you enjoyed from today's class. You can even consider how the posture made you feel. We are here for three more breath cycles. Breathe in through your nose, and then out through the nose or the mouth. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. You can open up your eyes if they were closed. Perhaps you just take a moment to demonstrate gratitude towards yourself and your partner for showing up or for just being in your life. You can give yourself a hug, each other a hug, a high five, a smile, a fist bump. <laughs> you did it. We hope that you had a lot of fun today. Let us know how this practice went for you in the comments down below. Take good care, everyone. Namaste.